Well, we looked at investment drivers for long-term investors. Those are investors with a long time horizon for their investments uh, that invest their own money and particularly don't use borrowed money to invest. And when we looked at that in detail, um, we found that the drivers for these investors are particularly good growth prospects in the countries where they invest and stable macroeconomic conditions, uh, good political uh, systems, and particularly we found they don't these investors don't look at interest rate differentials between countries in deciding where to invest. Well, there are good indications that investor behavior has changed since the crisis. Um, most importantly, um, investors have become more conscious of the risks in their portfolio. These risks include a liquidity risk, which is the risk that you may not be able to sell your asset when you want to, and also credit risk, which is the risk that you may not get your money back. Um, that credit risk also includes the risk of sovereign bonds, government bonds. Um, for now, investors don't assume anymore that these are risk-free. Sovereign investors are becoming more and more important. Uh, these are the investors that invest a country's national wealth, uh, which may include in international reserves uh, and receipts from oil and mineral uh, wealth. And their assets have grown a lot in the past decade. Um, they have a truly long-term view, and as such, they can have a, a bigger and bigger role because some of the private investors, as we've seen, have become more risk conscious, which tends to give them a shorter term view.